Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to talk about what is moderation and what all you can do through moderation and why is it important. So the first important thing is what is moderation? You have built a site and this site is available to your customers and customers can ask questions and queries and all sorts of things. So they can post content on your site. So you want to make sure anybody who is posting content on your site they are not posting any bad content. By bad I mean they are not putting any abusive language or they are not using any curse words or they are not using bad language. They are they are not using any violent comments at each other. So you want to restrict people to post something like that. And at the same time you don't want any spam content on your site. In order to do all of that, you have the ability to moderate. You can put rules and restrictions on what kind of content will be allowed on your site and what will automatically can be blocked, flagged and all sort of things. You can either block somebody from posting bad comments, you can also rephrase them or you can also kind of put asterisks if they are using bad or foul language. You can do all that through moderation. So let's go ahead and talk about what moderation is and what you can do with moderation. So the first thing is moderation in experience cloud. So moderation allows you to empower members of your experience cloud site to monitor content and ensure that it's appropriate and relevant. So you, so you want to make sure that whoever is posting content on your site it is proper, it's not using any bad language or it is not spamming your site. So what you can do is you can set up rules to automate moderation and do the heavy lifting for you. So here we are going to see how we can moderate and we can also test it. If, if there is an user who is either trying to put bad uh, comments or he's trying to comment too frequently, he's trying to spam our site, we can restrict those by setting up these rules, moderation rules and all of that. And you can also control on whom those rules will be applied. So you can apply those rules only on the external customers, you can skip the rules for internal users of your sites, you can do all of that. You can also make sure that everybody has the same set of rules. So if the internal users cannot post anything bad, external users also won't be able to do that. So you can control all of that through moderation. And how to do moderation, we are going to see it in a minute. So let's go ahead and look at what all you can do with moderation. So through moderation, you can designate specific users as moderators so they can closely monitor the site. So you can designate few people of your site as moderators and they can see what, every, what everybody is posting, they can monitor the content of the site, they can block the user if somebody is posting frequently or they are posting any violent comments. So you can have moderators for your site. The second thing is allow the members to flag the posts, comments, files and messages that are inappropriate or spam. So let's say there are multiple customers on your site and one customer is posting violent comments on your site. You will give the ability to other customers to flag that comment. So if something gets flagged, the moderator of the site is going to review it and it's going to take an action against it. Similarly, it will also allow the moderators to review and act on flagged items such as deleting a post or comment or file. So then once a customer has flagged somebody's uh, violent comments, then it's going to go over to a moderator and moderator can decide on deleting that comment or that file or anything like that. You can create rules and criteria to automatically block, flag and replace keywords in member generated content such as posts or comments. So any website which allows customers or any guest users to post, let's say you have a site where you write blog posts, right? And you, you have seen below that blog post 
people can comment. They can say what a great post it is. If they liked it, they can always comment that, hey, they enjoyed reading that post. But there are few folks who will put some bad links on that through that those comments or put some spam comments, right? It happens all the time. So you can say that, okay, anytime somebody uses these words, I will block those comments to be posted. Okay, you can do that. You can control that. You can create rules to review and approve content from specific members. You can track the flagging and moderation activity within your site. Now, how do we do all of this? We are going to see in the next tutorial. I am going to see you then. We have covered enough of the theory about moderation. Now let's get into the practical stuff of moderation. I'm going to see you then. Thank you so much.